Amplify Science, Plate Motion Unit, Chapter 4, Lesson 4.1, Plate Motion near Jalisco, Mexico. In the warm-up, Step 1, you are introduced to uh, the Jalisco block, uh, which is near Guadalajara, Mexico. Uh, after you respond in the box, make sure you hand it in. Then we move together to Step 2, in which we receive a memo from Dr. Moraga introducing us to the Jalisco block and the purpose of studying it. Okay, our job is then to uh, teach local residents some of the geology in their area and they need our expertise to decide what's actually going on. So then you're introduced to the Jalisco block in screen number two and this is where the teacher presents uh, the projections on the Jalisco block. So here it is. Notice it's found uh, as a part of Mexico, the west coast of Mexico. And on the exploded view, notice there are four plates. The North American plate, the Riviera plate, the Pacific plate, and the Cocos plate are all coming together near the Jalisco block, which makes what's happening very complicated geologically. And that's why we need your expertise. So here's an even more close-up look only this time including the triangles and circles you've seen before. So the volcanic activity being the triangles and the earthquake activity being the circles. And since you're already an expert in interpreting those, looking for patterns, we can apply what we know to the Jalisco block. Now, on the third projection, in the previous lesson, we would expect to see GPS data. We would see, we would, they'd be able to tell us which direction plates are moving and how fast. But as you can see in this projection, they're moving so slowly, some of them, millimeters per year. The GPS all the way from satellites in space aren't that accurate. A millimeter is such a narrow uh, distance that we can't exactly be sure simply by looking at satellite photos or GPS coordinates. So, uh, it, again, it's, it's interpreting those patterns of earthquakes and volcanoes that are going to be so important. We move on to step three. And in step three, uh, you are discussing with each other uh, the evidence from uh, the Jalisco block. And there are three screens uh, in which you see evidence cards. And I'm going to pop over to uh, two handouts. Part of this discussion, uh, you get these copies in front of you at your table to help organize your thinking. There are two claims, convergent and divergent boundary. Okay, hopefully you're an expert at the characteristics of both. And the evidence cards that you saw on your screen are also presented as cutouts, so then you can manipulate them at your table as you discuss and try to come to conclusions with your classmates. When we move on to step four, you will actually sort those cards into those, uh, under those claims and also encourage you to annotate or write on those cards or on the claim sheets uh, any reasoning uh, they do give you some sentence starters in step four to use if you so choose. And then in step five, requires you to uh, commit uh, answers a little bit, and then you get some more information on the history of Baja, that part of California, Mexico, nearby. And then once you respond to those questions, you can hand that in, and that would be the end of 4.1. Okay, remember, the purpose of 4.1 is setting you up for a science seminar, which is coming down the road. So, uh, you know, examine the evidence and uh, record it in a, in a location where either on paper or online where you can access it again later.